The local DNR is hoping hunters will change the way they hunt by switching the type of bullets they use. NBC 26's Abigail Hankey tells us why not everyone agrees. I've never had anybody ask for copper bullets. It's a debate that's had hunters on both sides of the fence for years to make the switch from lead bullets to copper. I've moved to all copper um, you know, a number of years ago, not just from the consideration of the environmental factor of the toxicity of lead, but that it truly behaves better ballistically. But it's something not everyone trusts. It's just going to be hard to convince people that now there's a problem with it when there wasn't a problem with it 50, 60, 70 years ago. That's not to say the problem wasn't there. It's just nobody paid attention to it. Lead is the most common type of metal used for bullets, whether it's a variation mixed with other metals, but it's drawn a lot of attention in recent years for its impact on the environment. Those fragments that can break off of a lead bullet can end up in the uh, gut pile that can be then taken in by a scavenger, but it also can end up in the meat that you end up you know, processing for human consumption as well. While Pritzel says it's not having a negative impact on an animal population, it's something that could be eliminated altogether. Copper bullets are also more expensive than lead. If the copper bullets come down in price and the performance is proven to be the same, I don't think it's going to be an issue in the future. The problem is we're trying to force a technology on people that they aren't comfortable with yet. But for this gun deer season, the DNR is hoping hunters will give it a try. In Green Bay, Abigail Hankey, NBC 26. The DNR is also reminding hunters to have their deer checked for chronic wasting disease. To find a checkpoint near you, head to NBC26.com. The gun deer hunt ends December 1st.